today I'm going to be rebuilding this Wayventure 1100 carb. I have three rebuild kits. I have some new fuel lines. I'm going to reset all the screws and clean it all up real good. So here we go. I'm going to keep everything separated. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take off these three backing plates on this side of the carb. And be really careful with these screws. You don't want to strip anything. And if you do strip it, you want to replace it. If you're ever going to work on it again. There's a little notch there so you can't put it on backwards. Okay, here's my diaphragm. Doesn't look too bad. I'm going to replace all of this anyway, but just for knowing what came out. Okay, now I'm going to move on. First I'm going to take this cover off. Again, be very careful not to strip anything. If you don't have one of these, I highly suggest it. It's really hard to strip a screw out with this. Gasket. It's a jet out of this side. It's a one oh seven. the needle doesn't look too bad but I think I'll go ahead and replace it anyway spring that holds the needle seat on Okay, we have this side taken apart, all the gaskets off, all the jets are out, the float, the needle, the spring, the seat holder. Um, that's probably as far as I'm going to take it. These seats look good, um, but I'll inspect them later. Now I'm going to move on to this side. I'm going to put new fuel lines on, so I'm just going to take all of these off as one piece. Again, I'm going to be very careful. Try not to strip anything. Okay, everything looks pretty clean in here, but I'm going to go ahead and replace this gasket. And on the back, here's the fuel filter. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, that's, this carb is pretty much all the way apart. 
that's as far as I'm going to go so I'm going to clean it from here and then we'll move on. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do before I start assembling is put some new fuel line on here so I'm going to first go ahead and cut a couple of these lengths. Okay, new fuel lines in. I took this, cleaned it, sprayed it out with compressed air. It looks clean. I'm going to go ahead and put it back together. Looking for this gasket. And I think there's a fuel filter in here. On these screws, I've had some issues in the past, so I'm actually going to use a tiny bit of thread sealant on this. Not much, but something. Now this is not Loctite or anything like that. This is called thread sealing. Okay, with these all back on. I'm going to make sure they're snug and then we'll move on to putting the fuel lines on. Okay, this side is pretty much done. We put these back on. We put new fuel lines on. It's time to move back to this side. All right, it's been a couple days since I've been since I finished the other side. I decided to go ahead and get some new jets and a few of these screws that I stripped out. I wanted to make sure they were fresh and I could service everything. So now that that's good, we're gonna start rebuilding this. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is drop these little holders in uh, that hold the seat in. Okay, all those are in. <clears throat> now I'm gonna move on to the spring and pull it in the needle okay now I put the spring in I'm gonna put the needle on okay so then you want to make sure it works. Make sure the spring is right under this dimple. Okay, all the floats are in. You want to check, make sure all are, they're all working correctly. They look good. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is put the jets in. So. All, all the smaller jets are 75s, then these two are 107.5s, and this is a 95, I believe. So, let's throw these in here. OK, 
Okay, all my jets are in. Next, we find this gasket. Put this on. Maybe that goes like that. And then we have this piece right here. And make sure if you strip these screws out that you get some new ones. Alright, all that's in. Last thing you want to do is take this, make sure it's in the groove real good. And close it up. All right, that's it. All right, that'll do it for this video. I've rebuilt the car off camera. I reset the screws and try to bolt back on and move on to the next thing.